a video. This video is going to be on the cook with me. And you guys are new here. I do cook with me. I do mukbangs, vlog style. Make sure that you guys subscribe. I also have another channel called um, PB's Point of View. So go over there if you guys are interested in that. What the fuck? Those are big ass eagles. Eagles, let me call them anyway. As you guys can see by the title, today we are making some. Why that's so distracting? I wish I could show you, but you're not gonna see my background. I want to see where I live, I can't do that. But anyway, today on the menu, we're gonna be making some fried chicken. This is so random, and I feel like this is so easy, but I dig it. Ask how, to, how do I make my fried chicken? I'm sure you guys are curious. So today, that's what we are going to be making. And you guys know I have my seasoning. So today's seasoning that we're going to be using is my um, my pasty seed, my pasty all-purpose seasoning. So we're going to be using just one seasoning today to make the fried chicken because I want to demonstrate how it's so easy to make this. But I got to ask that so Don't judge me. I got to ask that so just because I don't like the way chicken wings look when they too, like, no color i gotta ask that some so we're just gonna be using this i yeah see all it really does is add color to the food i feel like this don't even really have no flavor but we're gonna be using this is the this is the main ingredient for today so i'm gonna be using this and this is my secret ingredient for my um fried chicken don't judge me i know a lot of people dip their food in eggs I mean, they fry food and eggs. I'm not doing that. I don't, I, I honestly don't do that. I never do that. I did it before because I was watching like, you know, fried food, like fried seafood videos at one point. But yeah. And right now I had the fried chicken just clean and so I don't always do that either. I'm not even going to cap. I do clean my chicken most of the time with water. Sometimes I use vinegar and lemon juice. It depends on my mood. I'm very much rinse my shit off, take off all the fat, all the little gamey, nasty stuff, and call it a day. That's what I do most of the time. But sometimes, when I feel a little extra, when I got a little time, but I'm not rushing, I do put my chicken in vinegar and lemon juice. So you this angle may not work, actually. This is better. So let me just um, rinse this off and stuff like that. I'm so freaking hungry. I was drinking yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I was dead drinking yesterday. Hennessy at that. I still got Hennessy. So this morning, I was going to wake up and make me breakfast. And I'm like, you know what? I need to get me some. I need something solid. And if I was in the Bronx, I would have fucking. Um, I would have went to the spot and bought me some. The chicken spot for sure. Chicken is my go-to, like, hangover meal or even when I'm drunk. So, let's just rinse these off because I'm about to body these. And I'm just going to add the flour into this because, I don't know, maybe <laughs> ever since they stopped making plastic bags, my chicken ain't never been the same. <laughs> and I'm not even going to cap. I'm someone who I will put my freaking chicken in the plastic bag, you know, shake it up, all that jazz, but we don't have plastic bags, so I just add the flour into this, and then I dip the chicken in there, but y'all know, the girls that get it, get it, and if y'all old school, y'all know, throw that flour in a plastic bag, and you good to go, you good to go, and... Yeah, that's that. So this is the flour. We're gonna put the um oil in the pan, the frying pan, and we're gonna just keep it on just so it can get hot because that's one key tip. You never wanna put your fried chicken in the oil and the oil is not hot. That's how your shit don't be crispy. You're doing something wrong, girl, and that's what you're doing. So we're gonna turn, we'll add the vegetable oil. And if I'm a little low, it's because Majesty's sleeping. So I don't want to break, break the kids up. Medium fire. Bada boom, bada bang, bing, bow. Watch your mind. Yeah, all that. Oh no, I'm hot about the car, so it's a trick. I can't tell the purpose, though. I can't tell the purpose, though. I can't tell the purpose, though. I can't tell the sadness, though. I can't tell the purpose, though. I had to. Think about the viewers that I had to. Think about that cash. 
like it's fast food. Bringing them in this cash like it's fast food. I'm paying all my time to see the bad news. Lord forgive me for my sins, I know the can truth. Everything around me turned to fast food. Then it didn't call like I know, like these hoes always getting exposed, ain't got home training. And when I push up in the rows, and I'm still drinking. We're from standing on the stoves to the tour bus. Stay down ten toes, for a G5. So much yellow gold on me like a beehive. Started rocking, rocking to the purple top. Rocking to the purple top. Rocking to the purple top. Rocking to the sand I can't get them touch, bro. I can't get them work, bro. I can't get them speak, bro. I can't get them speak, bro. Look at the rest of them nicks out here that I had to. Anyways, guys, as you guys can see by that little demo, that one seasoning and the testone got the chicken fully coated. It smelled delicious, okay? This is all you need, I promise you. This is all you freaking need. It's so good. It smells amazing. And yeah, the chicken, the flour, I guarantee you that this is going to be so crispy. You don't need to add the egg. You don't need to add all that extra stuff that people be adding. No tea, no shade. Don't. Just don't. So, I do want to give you guys another tip when frying chicken is that do not over jam your pot. You don't want it to be too much chicken in the oil. Otherwise, it would not get crispy. So, add... Make sure there's some room in between the um, chicken wings while you're frying them so that it could be like perfect, like crispy. When it's too many chicken wings in the oil, it's just going to get soggy. It's not going to be crunchy or none of that. So I know when you're hungry and you want to make all your chicken wings at the same time. You hear that? Your chicken supposed to be popping. Your chicken, look, look at that. Look at that seasoning. Amazing. I guarantee it's going to be good. Your chicken supposed to be popping. Now with this pan, I probably put like four to five pieces of chicken at a time. I never overcrowd it because when you put too many in, it's not going to be crispy. I know a lot of people who fry food, they be like, oh my God, my stuff never come out crispy and stuff like that. It's probably because one, you're not putting it in, putting it in the pot when the oil is hot. Or you putting too much stuff in that pot at once. So it's not even, the oil is not even being distributed equally. I hate when my fingers feel like this. You just want to have space. Let that thing sizzle. And take your time when you fry your food. Like let it cook. Let it cook. There's no need to, nah, this looks so freaking good. Oh my god, I know these wings are going to be amazing. Amazing. I promise you. These some big chicken wings, so I'm only going to be able to put four. And another tip I want to give you guys is don't let your first batch of chicken get too like brown and kind of like burnt because the oil is going to get that stench and that flavor in it and your second batch is not going to taste as good as your first batch. So make sure that you keep it and you preserve in the oil. I know it's like, I know somebody get what I'm saying, but sometimes when you use your oil up and it's like, um, like your chicken wings get like too well done. Your, your second batch of chicken will taste kind of funny. I'm going to hold you. It will taste kind of funny. But I'm going to just coat these in flour. This is going to be so good. I'm so hungry. But watch how brown these chicken will come out. And let me see if I can see you at a different angle. You see how it's still space in the um in the pan? You want your chicken to, you know, you want the oil to be able to bubble up around the chicken. Like evenly, so it actually tastes really good. 
Like that, really give me tight. Yeah, that's that. Let this shit cook. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. There's no rush. Now, while that's cooking, you want to get your plate and your paper towel ready so that when you place it on here, y'all, this is real like it is what it is. I know nowadays the pans and pots come in little fry racks and all that extra shit. Get you some paper towels so that when you put um, your chicken wings on here, it can absorb, it won't get soggy. But that's really it. That's really it to it. Look, I'm going to show you guys. Now this thing been kept here for what? I want to say four minutes. As you guys can see, y'all see that crisp edge? Y'all see that? It's space in between the oil and the fried chicken. This is going to be so good. Okay, guys, so the second batch is cooking. As you guys can see, the first batch is done. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm going to show y'all. That joint, fire, fire, okay? That chicken ball is crunch. Look at this, ooh, look at this little piece right here. That extra piece? Yeah, you gotta hide these from them. You gotta hide these, this is gonna be fire. So right now, those are just draining. I'm draining, ew. But I'm gonna set these to the side like this. Let them cool off. Before you try to eat them, I got more paper towel because you want to put the um, fried chicken on the, you know, the paper towel that's not wet. And yeah, one thing about chicken is you got to let it cool off else the middle of it is going to be kind of wet. I hate wet chicken. And when I mean wet, I don't mean like raw. I mean like when it's piping hot chicken, the middle is always like juicy. I don't like that. You got to wait for that. You got to wait for that. But I thought like this chicken gonna be ooh crispy, 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 crispy. But yeah, let the chicken cool off a little bit. I'm not saying let it get cold, but it gotta like dry out a little bit. I know some people understand what I'm saying because fresh hot chicken be wet. It be wet on the inside. It'd be wet on the inside. That's that. And, <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying was, as you guys can see, I use this all the time, but I just made the fried chicken. I have so much seasoning left. And yeah, I could tell that I was not being um, stingy with it. I was really like, I took a little. You get a lot. This is actually really good. This is my seasoning. This is an average size seasoning. Look at the difference. You get so much. You get so much. Like, mine's like fat and girthy. Just how I like it. Okay, nah, this is actually really big. It's like I was saying, get you some. This is the all purpose fire. Oh, how does this look? Anyway, the chicken is done, y'all. I'm taking it out. We'll take it out. Let it cool off. I just want to have the perfect crunch, I promise you. Anyways, y'all, the chicken is done. I set up my little table with my sauces and stuff like that. Whew, the chicken is still piping hot. It's cooling off. It's cooling off. Whew. I think, well, mmm, mmm. 
Smell it through the screen. <sighs> I hate pain. I hate all pain. I hate little pain, big pain, smash my finger pain. I hate nubbing my, I hate all pain. Unless it's sexual. And not even that all the time. Don't hurt me. But yeah, chicken is cooling down on a napkin. As you guys can see, like, you know, like, what I mean by wet? It got to cool off. I don't like wet chicken. You got to let that thing cool. You got to open the window up, catch a breeze, you know? Air your house out. All that. All that. You got to put the um oil down the drain. I mean, down the um toilet. Don't save your oil, girl. I don't know who invented that. But ever since I, like... I don't want to use. I don't want to reuse oil. I don't. And then it got all the little pieces in it. And the, yeah, look, let me see. Like, like, why was my mother saving this? Why you was saving this, Ma? Why was you saving that? Times is hard, but come on, now. Times ain't that hard anymore. No I'm not saving no oil. I don't save oil. If you save oil, that's on you. <laughs> I don't save oil and that's it I don't save my flour maybe I might save my flour if I like think I'm gonna use it again like tomorrow but I'm not saving flour that's so random y'all probably like all right girl get to the point but yeah that's really it y'all thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure that you guys purchase your um peony posse seasoning it's the all-purpose seasoning all the links and stuff will be down below Get it while it's hot. I don't know how long I'm going to be selling seasonings for before I do my new drop. I don't know if I'm going to be keep the seasonings and have my new drop come. Or like this is going to be part one. And then when I have a new drop, this is no longer available. So I'm sorry. I don't know how I'm going to do it because I don't know how I'm going to do it. But get it while it's hot. Get it while it's here. Because I know a lot of people still asking about my butter sauces. And this clip, I'm not doing butter sauce no more at all so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up if you guys like mukbangs comment down below what other videos you guys want to see from me subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you guys are notified to my do post i do post daily uploads at 4 p.m eastern time and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day